Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to fold a Chinese junk boat. This is a traditional model. And there's a variation on this boat that looks like this that I've shown in another video. I'll link to that at the end of this video as well. But we're going to fold one that looks like this. And I'll be using a 6 inch sheet of kami. And we're going to start with the colored side down. Then we'll fold in half along the horizontal and the vertical. So I'll bring this top edge down to align with the bottom edge. Just line that edge up all the way across and then crease. And then unfold. Now I'll bring the right edge over to lie along the left edge. Make sure that lines up all the way corner to corner and then crease and then unfold. Next we're going to fold in half along both of the diagonals. So I'll bring the, or the top right corner down to meet the bottom left corner. And then crease that. And then unfold. Now I'll bring the top left corner down to meet the bottom right corner. Then unfold again. Next we're going to make a blintz fold, so we'll bring each of these four corners into lie along the center of this X here. So we'll start with this top left corner. Bring that into the center and then crease. Then same thing with the top right corner. And the bottom right. And the bottom left. Now I'm gonna rotate the model. Then we'll bring this top edge into lie along this center crease running across. Just make sure to hold this flap in place because it'll want us it might slide around a little bit. Bring that in to lie along the center and crease it all the way across. Then we'll bring this bottom edge into lie along that same center crease. Next we'll bring this right edge into lie along that center crease here. Same thing on the left side, bring that edge into the center. For the next step, I'm going to pick the model up, I'm going to rotate it, then if you look underneath this flap here, there's another flap on the inside right here. We're going to be pulling that out to the side, and as we do that, it's going to make a valley fold that runs from this point down to the center here. So as we're pulling this out, we're going to take this edge and it will lie along this edge here. So I'll show you what I mean. See that edge is lining up right there. And we'll crease that on the inside. And then if you press that down, this point should stick out to the left and it'll look like this. 
we'll lift that up slightly again and we'll do the same thing on the right side here. So we're bringing this edge out to lie along this edge here. And press that down again. There we are. I'm going to rotate the model 180 degrees. We'll do the same thing right here. We'll lift that up, bring that left point out to the side. Like that. Then the same thing on the right. Next, we're going to turn the whole model over. Then we're going to bring this top edge down to lie along this center crease here. Set it down for this one. Crease that all the way through. Then we'll bring the bottom edge in to lie along the center crease. Then if you turn the model over, we will be bringing these flaps out. I'm gonna rotate a little. We're swinging both of these flaps out. And then with these two flaps right here, we'll swing those out with them. As we do that, you'll notice this point is going to be moving upwards. So swing those flaps out. And then this edge will now align with an edge on the inside here. So we'll line that edge up there and then crease it all down. It'll form a fold that goes across as well as these two diagonal folds. Just crease all that down. We'll do the same thing on the bottom side here. We're gonna swing these flaps out going to form those new folds, just press it all down firmly. Next we're going to take these points right here, you notice the two points opposite each other. We're going to pull both of those out to the sides, just work on this left one here, just free it from all the other paper and pull it out like that. And do the same on the other side. You work slow to make sure you don't rip the paper anywhere, but just free it from everything and pull it out to the side. And then it should look like this. Then we'll turn the whole model over. Next, you'll see these existing creases right here. We're going to turn those into valley folds. So I'm going to valley fold along those existing creases. Brings this point into the center. And the same on the right here. Fold right along those existing creases. And we'll do this on the bottom points as well. Fold up along those creases so the points lie along the center. Then we're also going to do it just with the right point here. Fold that in along that existing crease like this. Next we're going to fold this edge in to lie along this edge here. There's an existing crease for this as well, so just fold that in. 
Then we're gonna fold that area in half, so we'll bring this edge into lie along that same edge there. There we are. Next, we're going to make a valley fold that extends from this point here down to this point there. So it'll extend just like this. So we'll just make sure it extends all the way out to the tip. Then fold it in right here. And the fold should look like that. And you'll notice the edge doesn't lie along that center crease. It's just short of that. But we'll do the same thing on this side here, extending from that point out to this point there. Next, we're going to fold the whole model in half along this crease here. Just like that. Now this next step, you'll see that this paper runs inside of this flap here. We're gonna hold with our left hand like this, then hold with our right hand here, and we're gonna tug with our right hand and just tease the paper out a little bit. And we'll go to about there. Then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Just pull that paper out about there. Might need to use a little bit of force. Don't pull too hard, but just Tug until it starts coming out. I'm gonna pull that out a little more. And if you look up top here, you can fold this part up a little bit. Just make that at a 90 degree angle to the rest, like that. And then just a little bit of shaping to make everything look nice. You can also pull these flaps out just a little bit and it'll stand up on its own. Now again, I also have another video showing one that looks like this. The design is very similar, but the process of folding is a little bit different. I'll have the link right here if you'd like to try that one. But again, if you liked this video, make sure to subscribe, and then I'll see you next time.